Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Well, you didn't have to waste any tears on me, honey. I bear a charmed life. Robot Monster is set in a grim, post-apocalyptic world in which the entire population of the Earth has been annihilated by a single alien. And I want you to know, this is the biggest social event of the year. <laughs> the whole damn town will turn out. So let's meet this terrifying creature. <laughs> I shall find a way to rid this Earth planet of humans. Yes, astonishingly enough, the Earth has been conquered by a gorilla with its head stuck in a goldfish bowl, called... Romance. ...and assisted by the automatic billion bubble machine. But there is still hope. Hi there. Anybody home? A small group of humans have survived despite living just around the corner from Roman's cave. Roman, he's in the cave at the end of the ravine. Is Roman stupid for failing to notice them? Or are they stupid for continuing to live there? I, I was as close to him as I am to you. So was I. But he didn't know that I was there. I say it's a little of both. You look like a pooped out pinwheel. But the next hour is a nail-biting duel in which only the least moronic will survive. My daddy won't let you hurt me. We'll see. I'm sure her family will miss her. No regret, Johnny. We enjoyed her as long as she was with us. Pragmatic or really quite callous. Somehow we have to find a way to live without her. The big question of this film is, who the hell cares? There's only six humans left. It was a simple matter of strangulation. Sorry, five. Four. Even if it means that man's millions of years of struggle up from the sea, the slime, the fight to breathe air, to stand a wreck, to think, to conquer nature, even if I was to stop cold by a doting father and a jealous suitor. All very noble, but at this point, the human race is clearly doomed. Is there a choice between a painless surrender death and the horror of resistance death? Not least because the emotionless Roman... I am built to have no emotions has developed an interest in daughter Alice. Is Alice gonna have a date with Roman? And she's not putting up much of a fight. How is it you're so strong, Roman? But then her boyfriend is a jerk. You're so bossy, you ought to be milked before you come home at night. And Roman has some great chat-up lines. Suppose I were human, would you treat me like a man? This situation throws Roman into an existential crisis. I cannot, yet I must. How do you calculate that? To laugh, feel, want. Why are these things not in the plan? Perhaps the plan was written by the same man who wrote the script. I want facts, not words. This forces Roman's boss to destroy the Earth remotely by summoning up footage from other films. That doesn't make sense. Presumably, he could have done this in the first place and saved us all the pain of watching the film. What else can we do? Commit suicide? At this point, the writer plays his trump card. Boy, was that a dream or was it? Which, assuming the writer is a seven-year-old child doing this for school, is very clever. But assuming they're a grown-up who actually got paid to do this, just confirms the whole thing is a complete waste of time. Error! Error! But is it a dream? The film ends on this unsettling image. <laughs> What can it mean? I think it means they just have the one costume. If you've got a film you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe.